from here Hello from around the world We're all a little more well-worn We're all well-traveled We're a little ways down the road Sometimes things get strange I know you know I love you And that will never change That will never change Got in and out of trouble you helped me to survive Without your strength and your protection I might not be alive That's not something I'll forget It's pure possibility It's way beyond a debt Thank you for having me We're a little ways down Sometimes things get strange I know you know I love you And that will never change Yeah, that will never change And that will never change Hey everybody, it's good to see you. And that song is true. I try to sing the songs that are true. My name is Jonah, this is called One Line Drawing. Uh, before I get too lost in this, I just want to say a few things out loud that have been bouncing around my head all night. One, uh, Snowplows who started the evening fucking shredded. I hope you're here for it. And they have two of the best album covers I've ever seen in my life over there, so just go check them out and buy them or just look at their glory. Um, to Genster Bloom, the drummer for Her Head's on Fire. Um, I've played on records with him, but I've never met him, and I've never seen him play drums in person until today, and fucking good lord, so that's really fun. And then Joe Smoke just being so wonderful. It was a really wonderful conversation, and I think, uh, I guess, that both of us were equally relieved that the person we'd be sharing this tiny space with for a week wasn't a fucking jackass. So. Thank you, Joe, for being a sweet, real person. I'm real psyched for this week as well. And, um, and I'm just, uh, yeah, this life, we're about 3,500 shows in, um, about 25 or 30 years in for me. It's the only job I ever had. And uh, it, I've seen it be a really, I've experienced it being a really shitty life, and, and I've seen it being a really shitty life. And as far as I can tell, the difference is the feeling that we get going. It's definitely not about the number of people I've figured out. It's definitely not about the number of dollars. There's some sweet thing that, that can get going with music. And I'm just real grateful that as this tour begins, I'm on tour with people that seem to get that spirit. And uh, last night in Austin, had the spirit. And this place has felt real sweet all night too. So I hope that you dig it. I hope you dig each other. I hope you dig me. But mostly, I hope you dig this life. Um, and anyway, this is about all the people who have helped me along. A lot of sofas, a lot of cars, a lot of meals, a lot of years. It's called Everyday Angels. If you got lost and wandered way too far from home, or if you ran away, because of something there I'm sending this out to you If you're lonely or you're scared or Worried that you're going way too fast or to nowhere No matter who you are to are Or what you did or didn't do Know that you are loved no, it's not too late You might get tired 
stay inspired and go up in an ocean of stars. Back to the magic we are. We are angels. We're everyday angels. See, I am yours and you are mine. We're always for from Texas, not Miami. They stopped in San Francisco atop the Golden Gate. I wish someone had been there to tell them it's okay to be scared, to hold their perfect hands and say it's not too late and that you might get tired. And go up in an ocean of stars We're back to the magic we are Cause we are angels We're everyday angels See I am yours and You are mine We're always falling Always flying
so horrible what's happening, but I'm always looking for the learning experience in a disaster, personally and, and, and globally, and um, we keep fucking failing the test. Uh, and um, I wrote this from the perspective of someone who, I, I started, when, I, when Fox started coming up in the early 90s, Fox and Cops started getting real big, and uh, I thought, we're in some fucking trouble because someone is sitting there on their couch really angry having just lost their job to outsourcing and globalization and shit they don't really understand so it's easier to blame it on black people. And I just thought how, uh, how easily fear can spoil into hatred. And so this isn't a song of judgment by any stretch, it's a song of compassion for someone who has all that shit fed into them when they're uh, not doing super well in life and someone is telling them over and over and over and over and over again to blame it on some other thing. Um, so here's to getting through that and getting through fear and to love. Uh, this song is still oddly and sadly prophetic. It's called Waiting for Something. Oh 
swear they're all on welfare. They kill babies and pass bad laws and start all those wars. This sounds fucking fantastic up here, so just thank you for whatever it is that you do. I think most of the time they just keep it simple and they don't overthink it, and then the sound people do the best thing ever, and so I hope it sounded good for you out there, but I'm feeling so happy, so grateful for you right now. Um, and that makes me want to play this tune, because I think the beat's going to sound sick. Sometimes there's a hit cost Sometimes there's a secret master Sometimes lives are lived and lost An invisible disaster This is water, this is air This is really everywhere Do you get it? Do you care? This is water Growing up poor as dirt Gotta know if you get hurt You can call 911 But nobody's gonna come Tell the truth to yourself Tell it to somebody else If we're gonna make you through Gotta find something new so what are you gonna bring? What are you gonna do? I'll listen to the sun, to the earth, to the ocean, to the sky. Find a way for you and I to stay in love and stay alive. We're the one, we're the word, we're the motion, we're the Get it, I do. 
do you care? This is water. When I hear people say we're living in a land of love, I wonder if they understand how it really works because nothing good about a law if it don't apply to king. Nothing good about a song if it ain't a choice to sing. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna bring? Wow, listen to the sun, to the earth, to the ocean, to the sky. Find a way for you and I to stay in love and stay alive. We're the one, we're the word, we're the motion, we're the Stay in love Stay in love This is water, this is air This is really everywhere Yeah! Do ya get it? Do ya care? This is water Oh! Listen to the sun to the earth, to the ocean, to the sky Find a way for you and I Stay alone, stay alive We're the one, we're the word We're the motion, we're the strife so Find a way for you and I Stay alone, stay alive This is water Thank you Um, that's off the record I got out called Tender Wild. I'm going to play the title track off that one. Um, it's, uh, it's literally the song I sung at my wedding a few years back. It's my vows. And it's, uh, of course, it's for my sweetheart, but it's also, um, it's, it's what I want to offer to her and to promise to her, and it's what I want from her, and it's what I want to offer to you, and it's what I want from you. Um, and so I just put the words tender and wild together because that's the kind of love that does it for me. So here's me trying to give it to you in this little pop song. Tender wild love, I've been looking for you so long. Oh, oh, oh. running everywhere. A lot of come and go, a lot of too soft, too strong. Oh, oh. oh. But if you take a chance, I swear Yeah. 
sweet hap things happening right at this moment um, that, uh, that, yeah, I just feel worth saying. There's a, there's a couple of sweet people who are just going to see a lot of shows on this tour, and I always love that because it's a little challenge to me to always switch it up, and uh, I, there's about a million songs over the last 30 years, so it's just fun to kind of play around in my brain, and if anyone has things they want to hear, feel free to let me know because I never know what's going to happen. Um, and then there's also someone who apparently has been listening to the music for 20 years but never gotten to see me sing. And so I hope you're digging it. And that's a fun thing to think of that first experience. Um, and then there's this really my, maybe my favorite thing of all um, is this young woman came up and asked me to hear, asked me to play this song. Uh, it's called Murcat. And um, because she, it was played for her when she was little, and it is kind of like a little kid song. Um, it's I came to me in a dream. It's about a superhero that's half cat and half fish, um, and uh, it's a, well, it's kind of a long story from there. But the point is, this is my soundtrack to a cartoon that never existed, but it's it's for sure in my head. So if anyone happens to do animation or be interested in making a really fucking great superhero show, I got you. Here's your here's your score right here. And I haven't sung it in forever, and that's exciting too. So that I say all that together because all of those wonderful people uh, united to really make this idea shine. So hope you dig it. And, uh, <laughs> and if you care to, when I say Murcat, you can repeat it with me. And if you if you know how to roll your tongue, you can purr with me at the end of the choruses. So here we go.
I try really hard to learn language, but I, 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 it's a very difficult language. Um, and also, no matter how much I think I've got my pronunciation exactly right, there is at least one German person in the room when I'm in the venue that'll be like, oh, no, no, and they'll, say the right, they'll say the exact same thing I did, but then I'm still wrong somehow. Um, so anyway, I, I don't think I've ever done this in America, um, but I'm just kind of doing it for Joe and to fuck around a little bit. Um, so here's to growing up and being silly um, and pissing off the Germans, because I'm a Jew, so fuck you. Um, I love Germany so fucking much, I've had so much fun there. I feel safe, I don't feel safe. Bist du blind and this dumb? Sechs Schäden, drei und zwei Zehn, zwei und drei Zehn, ein und vier Zehn. Like that. Sometimes a robot requests one. <laughs> Gonna leave it all behind and not say sorry. This part's about being a teenager. Yeah, you are always right, so why worry? You learn to steal and you lie to friends. You trust no one. My birthday coming around again.
in my crazy brain and then and then and then give me some because uh, after that I'm fresh out. But you keep giving me ideas in ways you don't understand. This one's going out to a, a person I've known for well over about about 41 years maybe, um, and uh, it's been real real sweet reconnecting with him and his fam. And one of my favorite things to do when we are together is to uh, bang out some weird covers of just songs we've loved over the years. So. Um, this is one we, we may well have sung together, but I'm just thinking of that. And I love making money off of music. It's, it's been an, an, just a beyond, beyond possible, beyond what I dreamt of as possible to have raised my daughter doing this and doing it in this way and keeping it personal and keeping it interesting for me. Um, and really music for me is just, it's just my way to digest the world and my way to interact with the world. Um, that, that leaves me the least crazy. So this tune helped me through a lot and made me want to write more songs. I uh, hope you dig it. Green plastic watering can Perfect Chinese rubber band And fake glass Like a real thing. 
sometimes songs request other songs. And that one requested this one because, believe it or not, back before Radiohead, well now they've sort of, they're in the ether somewhere, I'm not sure what's happening. But um, before they were kind of, you know, this, this sort of ubiquitous creature, um, they had that first record out, and you know, Creep is obviously a big MTV Beach House hit, but it, the, no one really listened to the record much. I was a pretty huge fan early on, and I, I fell in love with that song immediately. And um, Chino uh, called me one day, and he said, Dude, they're playing one of your fucking demos on Quad. And I was like, oh my god, and I was at the local Sackville radio station. And I turned it on, it was fucking big plastic trees. I was like, dude, that's his band Radiohead, man. <laughs> It's, that's not me, I wish it was me. Um, so it's sweet. So this one goes out to that moment. Um, one of my favorite things with him was just crooning together. And uh, this is where he really started crooning as a singer. And I'm so grateful for it. And I adore this song. Yeah, so much 
Bundesliga. You, you think of the panel where we're going to finish this set. Let's think of a few to finish this shit. What did you say? Alice. Yeah, hell yeah. What, what's over there? There's some kind of neat mumbling happening. you got to give me more. Okay, oh, that. Yeah, I get it now. It's you. You're cute. Okay, right, right, right. okay cool, cool, cool. There's two. I'll go down. Oh, shit. Okay, we're going to save the fucking sor the sorrowful lullaby for the end. That's a perfect one, though. I, I, I'm in. I'm in. Let's do this. We're in the tuning for this one. Um, I've got a weird little yard sale going on over there. Uh, there's, I, I got two books left that I wrote about raising my kid and doing this for a living. Um, and then I got a bunch of little USB sticks that have the audio book of that that I read with like about 75 songs on it as well that are strange demos and kind of the story of my life in songs. Um, there's some great vinyl, there's Tender Wild, there's a couple of volunteers vinyls left, and there's uh, some CDs, some random weird ass CDs that I found around my house before tour, and some Blu-rays, for anyone who likes that kind of shit, uh, of a documentary on the glory of the mixtape that I'm in with Rollins and a lot of other really fucking cool people. Um, so enjoy that, it's all whatever you can afford, come and see me afterwards if you'd like. And I say all that because I thought of this tune in the book is me I always think of my daughter in the attic dancing, and when she was dancing to this chorus, I fucking knew I had a tune, and I'm so happy it worked out. So here's to those memories, and here's to this memory that we're making right now. Lucky Elvis, lucky everyone, yeah! We all die, we all live on in photos. other people's lives and Joe telling a story about him first hearing that song has kind of uh, given that song a new pep in its step um, you know since it was written in like 1883 so it's, it's nice to have new things to think about but I, I just still love it because I'm a daughter now because of Joe's story so yay. Um, this one I love is I wrote it for a, uh, the, the, this, the wife of, of a dear friend of mine who I just had the fucking biggest crush on and I, I wanted to say that to them honestly without getting my ass kicked and being a creep um, because I just love them both as, as just as humans. Um, so I wrote a goofy little song on her birthday and it's like 
kind of the gushiest or most ridiculous love song I ever wrote. And I think I was able to be free to do that because it was, it was someone I wasn't ever going to be with. So here's to, here's to crushes and being transparent in the world and uh, not being an asshole about it. And not being sneaky about it, not being weird about it. So, um, yay, this one's called A-L-L-Y-S-O-N. A-L-L-Y-S-O-N, can we do it, do it, A-G-A-I-N. A-L-L-Y-S-O-N, can we do it, do it, A-G-A-I-N. So hot. <laughs> okay, this song is so fucked up. So hot, if there were more girls like you, the sun wouldn't have anything to do. You're so cute, the Pikachu collects little colored cards of you. And it's okay, you're not my girl. And cause your hotty, hotty, punk rock husband rocks my heart. This was a wonderful eve. It's real, real sweet to be in Providence. Um, I always think of Dumb and Dumber. Um, and it's just, that is in, literally in my top five. It's, it's one of the most glorious pieces of physical acting. It's modern day Buster Keaton. It's just everything. Um, so here's to Lloyd and Harry. Um, here's to all of us getting through. Say hi at the Merchy thing after if you want. And either way, I love you lots. Please keep in touch. My name is Jill Noatranga. You can fuck it up so much. I'm still out here you can find me. Thank you, thank you. And this is called One Line Drawing. And it's like a one line drawing is when you start drawing and don't pick up the pencil till you're done. And after 30 ass years, I'm fucking not done, I guess. So let's keep going.
I'm gonna just kind of skip that bit for a second. Um,
thank you for my favorite 45 minutes of long fucking time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. However long that was, whatever happened, I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. I love you. My name is Jonah. Thank you. Alive. I miss spaces like this. I'm happy there's still something like this in Providence. I'll see you soon. Thanks.